want to welcome those of you just joining us from elsewhere around the NFL. This offense at 4-0, they've been the talk of the league through the first month of the season, but now here, down eight, work to do in the final 90 seconds of this ball game, and no timeouts remaining. Following the fumble recovery, Henderson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Off play action. Henderson escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Back to throw. Henderson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll look to throw again, eluding the pressure right. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? On first down, Henderson steps away to his left. He's got the first down inside the 10. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's into the end zone. No flags. It's a touchdown. And now a two-point conversion. And we'll be tied here in the final minute. Do they have one big call left? Here we go. He continues to show at this level that he can not only pass for touchdowns, he can run for touchdowns. Not the first time we've seen this because this young guy, he really makes it happen. So what that tells me... The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the a fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. Give him 32 on the play. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Throwing on first down. Henderson flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And he is caught at the 10-yard line. 33 yards that time. So often in overtime, Charles games are won or lost on one big play. That might have been that big play right there. And the ability to execute it despite the stakes, because let's say we've been there before. We've seen it. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Rashad Evans, the linebacker, recording the sack there. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Looking to throw, Henderson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Rolling to his left. 
Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They are able to get nine yards out of that, but now it's fourth down. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. We needed extra time to decide this one. The rushing score and OT finishes it off, but all throughout, really just a great game to witness. I agree, and, and the whole time we were watching and, and working on this game, I had it in the back of my head. We could get to overtime, just the way this game went, the ebb and flow of it all, and then to get there and finish it, what I would call an old-school way, a running play, because in today's NFL, we throw the ball to ring the bell, don't we? <laughs> Not there, but they ran it in. And again, just a great, great game that we bore witness to. So for Jacksonville, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. And, oh. and they'll have another home date next week as the Miami Dolphins come to town. Meanwhile, for the Titans, the calendar changed October didn't help as they dropped to 0-5 on the year. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Jaguars are winners here.